Lindsay's not here. We get to make a video on our own. Good morning. We are bottling up today. We made uh, about four gallons yesterday. It was a pretty decent run. We've still got about six more hours of boiling, so we're just kind of getting started. Jody's bottling up what we did so far, and I think we have 150 gallons left to boil. So we're gonna get that done this morning. Sorry about that light. We'll get that done this morning or towards noon and then we'll go out and gather again. It won't be as big a gather today, I don't believe. It was kind of, it rained last night around midnight and then it quit dripping. And then this morning when we came over, it was running again. So we're gonna try and get everything cleaned out of the bulk or the holding tank. It's kind of nice to get a batch done before you start another one and blend it together. Get it cleaned out, rinse it out a little bit. Um, we should be able to keep up with it after this and then it's going to freeze. I think it's going to freeze tonight hard enough that it should kind of reset and then it'll run tomorrow or the next day, something like that. So it's been a pretty good season. We got two, two or three good days of runs in and we'll be, I don't know, we could almost have enough by the weekend that we could call it good for the year, I guess, but we'll see how it goes here and see how the crew hangs together. We've had such good help. Everybody comes over and gives us a hand and without that, Jody and I would be swamped or we just wouldn't do as much, I guess. So anyway, that's kind of it, kind of an update for today. Um, I can take a peek out here and see what the weather is like. It's about 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock in the morning and it's um, just kind of a... It's Well, there's some blue sky over there. So maybe it's going to kind of start to break. We could walk over and see what... It's starting to get muddy on our trail now. It's not going to be as fun after this. Whoa, didn't expect that. This is a good tree. It's right next to the sugar bush here. And that's dripping fair. And I know that I emptied this yesterday, so this is overnight. So that's better than we thought. Um, so here's the back side of the sugar bush, sugar camp, syrup shack, the shed, some steam coming out up there. This time of year it gets kind of messy and ugly. There's our bulk tank and our permeate tank, what we draw off for clean water. We've got a little bit left this morning. It didn't freeze enough, so we didn't have to worry about it freezing in our pump. And all the buckets are sitting over there on the... Right there's all the buckets. I rinse them out with a permeate at night, and that's, that's pretty nice. That permeate is some good stuff. You can clean out your filters with that. There's some piles of wood for the rest of the year. I think we have almost enough inside, but we got a bunch more that we make up through the season just to have enough. There's almost two feet of snow between myself and that pile of wood. It's crazy how deep the snow is out here. But here's an, yeah, and I know this was emptied last night, so that pail is roughly half full. So we'll be able to Stay out late again tonight. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. And this is 1.0 on our cart. This is the handiest thing. Some people don't think so, but it is so handy as long as we're on this. I could make a whole nother video on this as long as Lindsay doesn't catch me. That's the handiest thing to have sitting right next to the fire. See how easy it is to fire when the wood is already loaded onto the cart. I think I used a heat gun on this last year and it's like 12 or 1300 degrees right at the on the doors. So it's hot enough to hot enough to make sure you don't keep your hand there too long.
right now we're firing with some some uh, just some old oh like this kind of stuff here it's just some old pine slab wood that we use or we produced when we built the syrup shacks that was in 1919 19 <laughs> 1919 it was in 2019 when we built this so it would have been sawn the previous summer so it's four years old and that's awful good these are too big to burn in there they just happen to get put in here we'll pull those back out and split them and we want to empty out this bay area here first and then after that we've got our pile there and then we'll use almost that much again probably close to that there's quite a bit there and most of that most of this pile is all hardwood here so that'll burn a little bit better and it's split about right you wouldn't want it split any coarser like this piece here is too big but it's probably a little bit punky and i can throw that in throw in one of those and then make sure and get lots of these small ones that are only two three inches across so the smaller the better it seems like it just burns so much hotter and quicker i know it doesn't make sense but it, it gets your fire going a lot better so anyway that's enough of that and once again here's a look at that super cart that might be a good name for that what do you guys think super cart super cart 1.0 and i've got another one at home so we can <clears throat> maybe we can make some improvements on it weld two of them together double super cart. Catch you later.